Madam President, today I'm, I'm rising to talk about a movement, a vision called Keep It in the Ground and why it's so important to the future of our energy policy here in the United States and our energy strategy around the, the world. The core challenge that we face as citizens of this planet and as policymakers in the United States is that the impact of global warming is, is having devastating effects across our country and across the world. Here is the challenge. What this all boils down to if, is that these problems are created by the massive burning of fossil fuels. And I think people are generally aware that fossil fuels are created by hundreds of millions of years in which plant life has settled to the bottom of the ocean, been trapped, been submerged. It gets converted over time to coal, to oil, to natural gas. And we're pulling out that carbon from these hundreds of millions of years in a very short span of a generation, a few generations on this planet, just over the last 150 years, and burning it so it's putting this massive infusion of carbon dioxide back into the, the air and changing the chemistry of, of our air, changing, therefore, the heat retention of our, our thin layer of atmosphere that covers our planet, and thereby warming our planet, the greenhouse effect, as it is referred to. So our core challenge is to pivot from burning fossil fuels for energy to other forms of energy that do not put carbon dioxide into the air and to do so in a very short period of time. This is the moral challenge to American leaders in our generation. This is the moral challenge to international leaders in our generation. Our children and our children's children and our children's grandchildren, great-grandchildren, they're going to say, you were the generation that saw the impact of global warming on our nation and on our planet. And you knew from the science that we had to move quickly to pivot off of fossil fuels. And yet you did too little. And you damaged the quality of life for billions of children and children, children of children for generations to come because of your short-term failure to act. Let that not be the story told by our children and our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren. Let them instead say that generation that was the first to see the impact of global warming and that knew it had to act quickly to reverse the steady climb of temperature on our planet, let us thank them because they saw the challenge and they acted and we're forever indebted to them for doing so. Let that be the story that is told. Let this be the moment that we act.